Chapter 1, The Enchanting Beauty of Forests Forests offer a haven of enchantment with their majestic presence and captivating beauty. The moment one steps into a forest, they are greeted by a mesmerizing sight of lush greenery, as if the trees are reaching out to touch the heavens. The sunlight filtering through the leaves creates a delicate play of shadows on the forest floor, casting a magical spell on all who enter. The true allure of forests lies in their diverse wildlife. As you venture deeper into the woods, you will encounter a symphony of sounds as birds chirp melodiously high up on the branches. Squirrels scamper across the forest floor, their fluffy tails adding a touch of vibrancy to the surroundings. The occasional rustling of leaves hints at the presence of elusive creatures, adding an air of mystery to the already enchanting atmosphere. One cannot help but feel a sense of peace and tranquility in the depths of the forest. The gentle breeze whispers through the trees, creating a soothing melody that washes away any worries or stress. The fragrance of earth and foliage fills the air, awakening the senses and connecting us to the primal beauty of nature. Time seems to stand still within the serene embrace of the forest, allowing us to escape the chaos of everyday life and find solace in its embrace. In the midst of this peaceful atmosphere, one can truly appreciate the harmony and interconnectedness of all living beings. The forest is a thriving ecosystem, with each plant and creature playing a crucial role in maintaining its delicate balance. From the mighty oaks to the delicate wildflowers, every inhabitant contributes to the tapestry of life, creating a spectacle of colors, shapes, and textures. The forest is a haven for wildlife, providing shelter and sustenance for countless species. From the majestic deer gracefully stepping through the undergrowth to the playful squirrels chasing each other up the trees, the diversity of creatures is astounding. There is a sense of all that washes over you when you witness a deer grazing peacefully or the fluttering of delicate butterfly wings. It is a reminder of the untamed beauty and resilience of nature. As you stand amidst the grandeur of the forest, you cannot help but marvel at the intricate web of life that exists within its borders. The forest serves as a sanctuary for countless species, offering a safe haven for animals to thrive and flourish. It is a reminder of the fragility of our planet and the importance of preserving these natural wonders for generations to come. In conclusion, the enchantment of forests lies in their lush greenery, diverse wildlife, and peaceful atmosphere. They hold a majesty and beauty that words can hardly capture. To truly experience their allure, one must immerse themselves in the tranquility of the woods, allowing nature to work its magic on the soul. Forests are a precious gift, inviting us to appreciate and protect the enchanting beauty that lies within their embrace. Question, what makes forests so enchanting? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Symphony of Birds As the sun begins to rise above the horizon, painting the sky in hues of pink and gold, a symphony of birds awakens in the heart of the forest. Their melodious songs fill the air, creating a captivating harmony that dances upon the gentle breeze. Each note is a joyous celebration of nature's wonders, a reminder of the beauty that lies within the realms of the woods. The variety of birds that call the forest their home is astounding. From the cheerful chirping of the robins to the distinct trills of the blue jays, it is as if the forest has its very own orchestra. Their songs echo through the trees, reaching every corner of the woods as if nature itself were serenading its own existence. In the dappled sunlight, a cardinal perches on a branch, its vibrant red plumage contrasting beautifully against the verdant foliage. It begins its song, a melodic tune that resonates with the tranquility of the forest. Its voice joins the chorus, harmonizing with the persistent cheeping of the sparrows and the delicate warbling of the thrushes. As the early morning mist dissipates, the songs grow louder, filling the forest with a joyous cacophony. The wrens flit from tree to tree, 
their melodic calls interweaving with the enchanting trills of their fellow feathered companions. The forest truly comes alive with the symphony of birds, each species adding their unique melody to the composition. For the avid bird watcher, the forest is a paradise of fluttering wings and vibrant plumage. With their binoculars in hand, they venture deeper into the woods, their eyes and ears on high alert for any signs of avian activity. As they tread lightly on the leaf-strewn path, they spot a group of finches perched on a sturdy branch. The finches sing in perfect harmony, their vibrant yellow feathers glowing in the morning light. It is a sight that leaves the bird-watcher breathless, mesmerized by the delicate dance of nature's habitats. In this symphony of birds, every creature plays a vital role. The woodpecker drums its beak against a tree trunk, creating a rhythmic beat that reverberates through the woods. The owl hoots softly from its hidden perch, adding a touch of mystery to the ever-evolving melody. The chorus of birds is a testament to the interconnectedness of nature, each voice contributing to the awe-inspiring tapestry of life. As the sun ascends higher in the sky, the songs of the birds begin to quieten, their solo performances giving way to the hushed whispers of the forest. The majesty of the symphony of birds lingers, the memories of their melodious tunes etched in the minds of all who have witnessed their beauty. In this chapter, we are reminded of the captivating joy that lies within the heart of the forest. The symphony of birds provides a glimpse into the harmonious existence of nature, where every creature finds its place within the grand symphony of life. It is a reminder that even within the enchanting beauty of the woods, the true magic lies in the interconnectedness and resilience of all living beings. Question. What creates the symphony of birds in nature? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3. The Dance of Butterflies. In the meadow, a delicate dance unfolded as the sun's warm rays caressed the vibrant colors of the blooming flowers. Butterflies, with their intricate patterns and wings kissed by every hue imaginable, fluttered amidst the blossoms. Their graceful movements captivated the eye, a mesmerizing ballet set against a backdrop of nature's canvas. As the butterflies twirled and floated with effortless grace, they played a vital role in the delicate ecosystem of the meadow. They sipped nectar from the flowers, their delicate proboscises delicately extracting the sweet elixir that allowed them to sustain their ethereal flight. In the process, they inadvertently collected pollen on their tiny legs, becoming crucial agents of pollination. It was a symbiotic dance, an intricate partnership between flowers and butterflies. The butterflies, with their elegant flutters, carried the pollen from flower to flower, facilitating the fertilization process. With each graceful landing, they transferred life-sustaining resources, allowing the meadow's tapestry of floral beauty to endure and flourish. The dance of butterflies became a symphony of colors, their wings a kaleidoscope of vibrant hues. They flitted from blossom to blossom, their flight paths a seemingly chaotic but meticulously choreographed display. Each movement was a brushstroke on nature's canvas, a fleeting masterpiece painted in mid-air. The splendor of the dance was magnified by the diverse species of butterflies that graced the meadow. Monarchs, with their regal orange and black wings, glided gracefully, captivating all who beheld their majestic flight. Swallowtails, dressed in bold yellow and black, pirouetted with elegance, bringing a touch of whimsy to the meadow's ballet. With their delicate bodies and fragile wings, the butterflies defied gravity, creating an enchanting spectacle. Their aerial acrobatics enthralled onlookers as they gracefully soared through the air, their flight pattern a display of natural perfection. It was as if the meadow itself had come alive, pulsating with the magic of their dance. As the dance of butterflies continued, their purpose went beyond the beauty they brought to the meadow. They became guardians of nature's cycle, their pollination efforts laying the foundation for the next generation of flora. Their graceful movements brought sustenance to the meadow's inhabitants, 
ensuring the survival of countless species. The dance of butterflies was a reminder of the intricate balance that existed in the natural world. Their brief but meaningful lives were dedicated to fulfilling their role in the greater tapestry of life. As they fluttered among the flowers, they embodied the delicate threads that wove together the web of existence. In this chapter, the vibrant colors of the butterflies illuminated the meadow, a breathtaking display of beauty. Their graceful movements echoed the harmony of nature, demonstrating the interconnectedness of all living beings. Through their pollination efforts, they silently fulfilled their purpose, ensuring the perpetuation of life's dance in the meadow. The dance of butterflies is a reminder of the ephemeral nature of existence, a reminder to cherish the moments of beauty that grace our lives. As the butterflies continue their delicate choreography, the meadow is transformed into a sanctuary of enchantment, where the symphony of colors and the graceful movements of these ethereal creatures stir the heart and captivate the soul. Question, what is mesmerizing about the dance of butterflies? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, The Secrets of Ancient Trees The ancient trees stood tall and proud, their gnarled trunks bearing witness to the passage of time. Within their towering canopies, secrets were whispered among the rustling leaves, tales only the wise old giants could tell. These majestic elders of the forest held wisdom that stretched far beyond the comprehension of mortals, their ancient roots reaching deep into the earth's history. Hidden within the labyrinth of branches and foliage, a hidden passage awaited discovery. It was said that those who ventured into the depths of the ancient trees would uncover the well-guarded secrets of the forest. The entrance appeared inconspicuous to the untrained eye, blending seamlessly with the dense undergrowth. But for those who sought shelter in the embrace of nature, the path would reveal itself, beckoning them into the heart of the forest's enigmatic treasures. As I cautiously stepped onto the path, a sense of awe enveloped me. The air was thick with an aura of ancient magic, and the whispers of the wind seemed to carry the echoes of the forest's many stories. The sunlight filtered through the canopy, creating ethereal patterns on the forest floor. It was as if the trees themselves were illuminating the way, guiding me toward the sacred knowledge that lay waiting ahead. As I ventured deeper into the secret realm of the ancient trees, their wisdom whispered in the rustling leaves above. It was a symphony of ancient voices, tales woven together by the passing of centuries. The trees had witnessed the birth and death of countless creatures, their branches offering shelter and guidance to all who sought solace in their embrace. Each step I took seemed to reveal a new revelation, a piece of the puzzle that would unlock the extraordinary tapestry of knowledge hidden within the forest. The secrets whispered were as very as the creatures that called this sanctuary their home. The trees spoke of the delicate interconnectedness of all life, of the delicate balance that allowed the forest to thrive. They shared ancient remedies hidden within their bark, healing potions crafted by nature itself. In their presence, I basked in the wisdom that emanated from these sacred giants. They taught me patience, for they had witnessed the ebb and flow of time, understanding that all things must unfold in their own divine rhythm. They showed me resilience as they had weathered countless storms and yet stood tall, their branches reaching for the heavens. And they nurtured my spirit as I learned to embrace the innate connection between all living beings. The secrets of the ancient trees were more than mere knowledge. They were fragments of the universe's profound wisdom tenderly shared with those who sought it. As I immersed myself in their teachings, I felt a deep sense of gratitude for the privilege of being part of this sacred bond with nature. The passage of time may have dimmed their physical form, but their spirits remained vibrant, eternally nurturing the souls of all who ventured into their sanctuary. I emerged from the depths of the ancient trees, my heart brimming with newfound understanding. The forest had revealed its deepest secrets, leaving me forever changed. The wisdom imparted by the towering giants would forever guide my path through life, 
reminding me of the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of cherishing the natural world. As I left the secret realm behind, a gentle breeze carried the echoes of countless creatures, their whispers bidding me farewell. The ancient trees stood tall, guardians of the forest's enigmatic treasures, their whispered secrets forever etched in my soul. And as I walked back into the world, I carried with me the profound wisdom of the ancient trees, a gift to cherish for the rest of my days. Question, what are some secrets that ancient trees hold? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5. The Mysterious World of Caves as I ventured into the world of caves, I found myself immersed in a realm of enchanting mysteries. The air was heavy with anticipation as I stepped into the darkness, my footsteps echoing through the vast expanse of the underground labyrinth. Stalactites hung gracefully from the ceilings, their sharp points reaching out like shimmering icicles, while stalagmites rose defiantly from the ground, creating an otherworldly landscape. The cave walls held secrets of an ancient past, their rough surfaces bearing witness to centuries of geological formation. In the soft glow of my flashlight, intricate patterns and markings adorned the stone, unraveled tales of time and transformation. Each step I took revealed hidden wonders, as if the rocks themselves held their breath, waiting for me to uncover the mysteries that lay dormant in their depths. In the heart of the cave, a hidden underground ecosystem thrived. Flickers of life danced in the shadows, their delicate forms adapted to survive in the eternal darkness. Strange creatures scurried across the cave floor, their bodies translucent and curious. Blind fish swam in underground rivers, their movements graceful and purposeful. It was a reminder that life had found a way in even the most inhospitable of environments a testament to the resilience of nature. The sounds within the cave were muffled, as if the very air absorbed any noise that dared to break the silence. Drops of water fell steadily from the ceiling, creating a rhythmic symphony that echoed through the caverns. It was a constant reminder of the ceaseless passage of time, the gentle erosion shaping the cave's ever-evolving landscape. As I explored further, I came across an expansive chamber, its vastness stretching beyond the reach of my flashlight. Here, the mysteries of the cave seemed to intensify, drawing me deeper into their enigmatic embrace. An ethereal glow radiated from the walls, revealing shimmering substances that clung to the rock faces, casting an otherworldly hue upon the chamber. In this surreal glow, I found myself captivated by the beauty and complexity of the cave's formation. The stalactites and stalagmites intertwined, forming intricate patterns that seemed to defy gravity. It was an exquisite masterpiece that nature had crafted over eons, a testament to the power of time and elemental forces. As I stood, awestruck by the magnificence surrounding me, a sense of reverence washed over my being. The world of caves held a profound allure, a glimpse into the hidden wonders of the earth. It was a reminder that beneath our feet, a vast and mysterious realm waited to be discovered, drawing us into its depths with each pulse of curiosity. Leaving the cave behind, I emerged into the sunlight, but the mysteries of the underground world lingered in my thoughts. The secrets of the caves had left an indelible mark on my soul, a reminder of the boundless wonders that awaited those brave enough to explore the darkness. And as I walked away, I carried with me the beauty and mysteries of the cave, forever engraved in my memory. Question, what mysteries can be found in caves? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, The Magic of Waterfalls As I ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, a sense of enchantment enveloped me. The sun-dappled path guided my way, leading me towards the much-anticipated destination, the magic of waterfalls. I could hear the distant roar of cascading water, the promise of a wondrous sight awaiting me. As I approached, the soothing sounds of rushing water grew louder, filling the air with a sense of serenity. A delicate mist floated through the air, catching the sunlight and creating a shimmering dance of rainbows. 
The anticipation welled up within me, my heart pounding in rhythm with the pulsating water. Finally, I caught my first glimpse of the waterfall, a majestic cascade of water, tumbling down the rocky cliffs. It seemed to possess a life of its own, its liquid tendrils carving a path through the landscape. The sheer power and beauty of the waterfall left me speechless, awestruck by its grandeur. I stepped closer, feeling the cool spray misting my face, invigorating my senses. The water crashed into the pool below, creating a mesmerizing symphony of sounds. The rhythmic music of the waterfall danced in my ears, each drop contributing to the melodic chorus. It was as if the spirits of nature had conspired to create this harmonious masterpiece. I found a comfortable spot beside the pool, eager to immerse myself in the magic that surrounded me. I closed my eyes, allowing the melody of the water to wash over me, soothing my weary soul. A sense of tranquility washed away all worries and cares, as if the waterfall held the power to heal and rejuvenate. Moments turned into hours as I lost myself in the ethereal embrace of the waterfall. Time seemed to stand still, and I felt a profound connection to the natural world around me. I observed the delicate dance of sunlight on the water's surface, the ever-changing patterns moving with the current. It was a reminder that life, like the waterfall, was constantly in motion, flowing and evolving. As the day began to wane, I reluctantly tore myself away from the embrace of the waterfall. The memory of its magic etched itself deep within me, a reminder of the power and beauty I had witnessed. With each step I took on the journey back, I couldn't help but carry a sense of calmness and clarity. The experience had rekindled my appreciation for the wonders of nature, and I vowed to seek out similar moments of serenity in the future. As I left the forest behind, the sound of the waterfall faded into the distance, but its magic remained imprinted on my soul. The magic of waterfalls had unlocked a door to a realm of tranquility and awe, a reminder that the natural world held mysteries and wonders beyond imagination. And as I continued on my path through life, I carried with me the transformative power of waterfalls, forever grateful for the enchantment they had bestowed upon me. Question, what makes waterfalls magical? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7 the whispers of ocean waves. As I stood at the edge of the sandy beach, a gentle breeze brushed against my skin, carrying with it the whispers of ocean waves. The rhythmic sounds of the sea, the ebb and flow of water, created a soothing symphony that calmed my restless mind. I closed my eyes and let the mesmerizing ambience envelop me. The waves crashed against the shore with a resounding roar, their powerful energy reverberating through the air. It was as if the ocean itself was speaking to me, sharing its ancient wisdom and untold stories. The whispers of the ocean waves carried the secrets of the world, a language only the attentive could understand. I took a deep breath, inhaling the salty scent of the sea. It invigorated my senses, filling me with a renewed sense of vitality. The misty salt water sprayed my face, refreshing and revitalizing me from within. I couldn't help but be captivated by the endless expanse of water before me, its vastness reminding me of the boundless possibilities life had to offer. The crashing waves, like a rhythmic heartbeat, lured me closer to the water's edge. I walked along the shoreline, feeling the sand beneath my feet shift with each step. The cool touch of the sand massaging my souls added to the sensory delight, enhancing the soothing effect of the ocean's embrace. As I gazed across the endless horizon, the sun kissed the water, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink. It was a breathtaking sight, a testament to the beauty and wonder of nature. The waves, now bathed in the golden glow of the setting sun, danced in harmony, creating a mesmerizing display. I sat on a weathered beach chair, my toes sinking into the warm sand. Time seemed to slow down as I absorbed the tranquil scene, the crashing waves providing a soothing soundtrack to my thoughts. 
all worries and stress melted away, replaced by a sense of peace and contentment. The whispers of the ocean waves carried with them a sense of eternity, a reminder that the world was so much grander than my own existence. It grounded me, reminding me of my place in the vast tapestry of life. I felt a deep connection to the ocean, as if its very essence was intertwined with my being. As the sun dipped lower, painting the sky with fiery hues, I felt a pang of sadness. It was time to leave this enchanting sanctuary, this refuge of tranquility. But I knew that the whispers of the ocean waves would forever remain in my heart, a soothing melody that I could summon in times of chaos and turmoil. Reluctantly, I rose from the beach chair, taking one last look at the captivating scene before me. The crashing waves continued their timeless dance, a reminder that life was a constant ebb and flow, carrying us forward on its rhythmic currents. With a final sigh, I turned away from the ocean and made my way back towards the noise and bustle of everyday life. But as I walked away, I carried the whispers of the ocean waves with me, a reminder that serenity and peace were never too far away. Question, what are the whispers of ocean waves? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8 the marvels of coral reefs. As I descended into the depths of the ocean, I marveled at the intricate ecosystems hidden beneath the surface. Chapter 8 of my journey led me to explore the captivating marvels of coral reefs, the vibrant colors and rich biodiversity that awaited me beneath the waves were truly awe-inspiring. As I swam among the coral formations, the vibrant hues of reds, blues and oranges painted a dazzling undersea landscape. The coral colonies, like delicate brushstrokes, created a living masterpiece. They stood proudly, providing a home to a multitude of marine creatures. The coral reefs were bustling with life, each nook and cranny teeming with creatures of all shapes and sizes. Schools of fish, adorned with vivid patterns and striking colors, darted through the coral maze. In their midst, graceful sea turtles floated effortlessly, their slow, deliberate movements a testament to the tranquility of these underwater sanctuaries. Every inch of the coral reefs was a marvel in itself, a tangled web of interconnections and mutual dependencies. Tiny shrimp danced among the polyps, cleaning them of debris and parasites, while feather-like tentacles of anemones swayed gently, providing shelter for clownfish seeking refuge. It was a symphony of life and harmony, a delicate balance preserved through generations. Among the vibrant corals, I spotted a hidden world of sensation and camouflage. Spiny creatures like sea urchins and colorful sea stars adorned the coral branches, their intricate patterns blending seamlessly with their surroundings. As I observed, a ray of light caught a hidden octopus, revealing its incredible ability to change color and shape at will. It was nature's magic, a testament to the intricate adaptations forged through millions of years. I marveled at the diversity of fish species that called the coral reef home. From sleek sharks patrolling the outskirts to schools of shimmering angelfish gliding effortlessly, each species played a crucial role in maintaining the reef's delicate balance. It was a symphony of movement and life, a testament to the resilience and interconnectedness of these underwater worlds. As I continued my exploration, a gentle current guided me towards a majestic coral wall. The towering structure, adorned with a tapestry of coral shapes and textures, seemed to reach towards the surface. I swam along its length, admiring the intricate details etched into each coral colony. The coral reefs hummed with energy, each organism playing their part in maintaining the delicate equilibrium of life. The whispers of the ocean carried the lullaby of the reef, a language only the attentive could understand. It was a reminder that beneath the chaotic surface of the ocean, intricate worlds thrived in harmony. With a heavy heart, I began my ascent, leaving the marvels of the coral reefs behind. But as I broke the surface, the memories of vibrant colors, 
biodiversity, and intricate ecosystems remained etched in my mind. The whispers of the ocean waves carried with them a sense of wonder and respect for the delicate marine worlds that lay hidden beneath the waves. And as I continued on my journey, I carried with me a newfound appreciation for the marvels that the coral reefs had to offer. Question, what makes coral reefs so marvelous? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9 The Fascination of Desert Landscapes As I embarked on the next leg of my journey, I found myself drawn to the fascination of desert landscapes. Chapter 9 unfolded before me, revealing a world vastly different from the ocean depths I had just left behind. Here, the land stretched endlessly, adorned with vast dunes that seemed to touch the horizon. The desert, a place synonymous with solitude, was a truly humbling sight. As the scorching sun beat down upon the sandy expanse, I marveled at the unique plant adaptations that somehow found a way to thrive in such harsh conditions. Sparse patches of resilient cacti and sturdy desert shrubs dotted the landscape, their sharp spines and low-lying foliage serving as protection against the relentless sun and the scarcity of water. While the plant life in the desert was scarce, the adaptations of the animals were equally fascinating. Scampering across the sand, I encountered swift-footed desert foxes, their slender bodies and oversized ears aiding them in their search for elusive prey. In the distance, a group of dromedary camels gracefully traversed the dunes, their humps serving as natural storage for fat reserves, enabling them to endure long periods without water. As I ventured further into the desert, the solitude enveloped me. The vastness of the landscape seemed to stretch on endlessly, punctuated only by the occasional gusts of wind and the soft whisper of shifting sand. It was a place where time stood still, where the quietude allowed for a deeper connection to oneself and nature. In the midst of this vast solitude, I stumbled upon an oasis oasis, a hidden jewel amid the desert's arid embrace. Palm trees gracefully swayed in the breeze, their roots reaching into underground water sources, providing a lifeline in this seemingly barren land. Birds chirp melodically, finding respite and nourishment in the oasis's bounty. It was a reminder that even in the harshest of environments, life could flourish if given the chance. The desert was a land of extremes, a place that tested the limits of survival. But within its unforgiving confines, there was a beauty that captivated the soul. The shifting sands, ever changing under the influence of wind, created patterns and shapes that danced before my eyes. It was a canvas of nature's artistry, a symphony of texture and color. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden glow over the desert, I found myself reflecting on the incredible resilience and adaptability of life in these harsh conditions. The desert had a way of forging strength, developing qualities that allowed living organisms to not just survive, but thrive. With a heavy heart, I bid farewell to the desert landscapes, my footsteps leaving barely a trace on the shifting sand. But as I turned towards the horizon, the memories of the vast dunes, the unique plant and animal adaptations, and the solitude that engulfed me remained etched in my mind. As my journey continued, I carried with me a newfound appreciation for the marvels of the natural world. Whether underwater or amidst desert landscapes, I had witnessed the incredible diversity and adaptability of life against all odds. And as I ventured into the next chapter of my expedition, I knew I would encounter more wonders that would continue to ignite my fascination and deepen my connection to the world around me. Question, what is fascinating about desert landscapes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, The Harmony of Seasons Chapter 10, The Harmony of Seasons As I journeyed on, the transition from desert to a land teeming with life unfolded before me. The title of this chapter, The Harmony of Seasons, couldn't have been more fitting. Here, I witnessed the magical dance of cyclic changes, 
where nature's symphony orchestrated the ebb and flow of life through the shifting weather patterns. Spring, with its gentle touch, awakened the dormant landscape. The once barren earth now blossomed with vibrant hues as flora of all kinds emerged from their winter slumber. Blanketing the fields were delicate wild flowers, their petals swaying playfully in the breeze. Trees, adorned with fresh green leaves, provided a lush canopy beneath which the fauna found refuge. The warmth of summer arrived, bringing with it a burst of energy and activity. The vibrant colors of the flowers gave way to the lush greens of the grass, and the air buzzed with the soft hum of insects. Birds flitted from tree to tree, their melodies filling the air, while squirrels scurried along, collecting nuts for the colder months ahead. Autumn painted the landscape with its golden touch. Leaves, once vibrant and green, now transformed into a tapestry of reds, oranges, and yellows. The air carried a crispness that hinted at the approaching winter. It was a time of preparation, as animals gathered food and adorned their winter coats. The ever-changing beauty of the season reminded me of the transient nature of life itself. Finally, winter's icy grip descended upon the land. Frost painted the world in intricate patterns, accentuating the skeletal branches of the dormant trees. The quietude of the season enveloped everything, as the fauna sought warmth and respite. It was a time of stillness, an opportunity for introspection and renewal as nature prepared itself for the cycle to begin anew. Throughout the seasons, the harmony of nature's elements came together in perfect synchrony. The weather played its part, providing the necessary conditions for the cycles to unfold. The flora adapted, their life cycles attuned to the changing climate. From the hardy evergreen trees, that braved the harshest of winters to the delicate wild flowers that emerged with each spring. Each plant carved its niche within this symphony. Likewise, the fauna showcased their adaptability, their behaviors shifting with the changing seasons. Migratory birds traversed great distances, guided by an ancient instinct that compelled them to seek warmer climates. Animals grew thick fur or feathers in winter, shedding them as the weather warmed. They, too, were intricately woven into the fabric of this natural harmony. I marveled at the delicate balance of it all, the interdependence of flora, fauna, weather, and seasons working in unison. Each element played its part, creating a tapestry of life that unfolded year after year. It was a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things, and the need to respect and cherish this delicate balance. As I bid farewell to the ever-changing beauty of this chapter, I carried with me a newfound appreciation for the cyclic changes that shape our world. The harmony of seasons reminded me of the resilience of nature and the regenerative power of the earth. And, as I ventured towards the next chapter of my expedition, I knew I would encounter more wonders, that would continue to deepen my connection to the remarkable tapestry of life. Question, what creates the harmony of seasons in nature? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, The Power of Nature's Healing The power of nature's healing in this chapter. We explore the transformative power of nature's healing and the therapeutic landscapes that hold the key to rejuvenating our minds and souls. As I ventured further into my expedition, I discovered that nature's embrace had a profound impact on our well-being, providing us with a sanctuary to find solace and renewal. As I entered these restorative landscapes, a rush of fresh air filled my lungs, invigorating my senses. The crisp breeze carried with it the scent of pine trees and blooming flowers, instantly calming my racing thoughts. It was as if the world outside these rejuvenating spaces faded away, leaving only peace and tranquility in its wake. The gentle rustle of leaves and the melodic chirping of birds further enhanced the calming effect. The natural symphony enveloped me, their harmonious melodies acting as a balm for my weary soul. Each sound served as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all life, 
creating a sense of unity in this vast and wondrous world. As I walked along winding paths, I marveled at the wonders around me. Serene ponds, adorned with lily pads and colorful fish, reflected the clear blue skies. The gentle babbling of nearby streams added to the soothing ambience as the water cascaded over rocks and pebbles, creating a musical rhythm that seemed to wash away stress and worry. Beneath the shade of towering trees, I found respite from the scorching sun. The branches formed a natural canopy, casting dappled shadows along the forest floor. Here I discovered a profound sense of connection with the earth as the grass beneath my feet seemed to absorb the weight of my troubles, grounding me in the present moment. As I immersed myself in the power of nature's healing, I realized that these therapeutic landscapes were more than just physical spaces. They were portals to a deeper part of ourselves, unlocking hidden reserves of strength and resilience. The serene beauty that surrounded me was a mirror, reflecting back the peace and harmony that resided within. I met fellow travelers along these paths, drawn by the magnetism of these healing spaces. We shared stories and laughter, finding common ground in our appreciation for the restorative qualities of nature. It was here, amidst the beauty of the natural world, that we discovered a sense of community and belonging completely unburdened by judgment or expectation. In these moments, it became clear that nature's healing power extended beyond the individual. The calmness and clarity we found in these landscapes had a ripple effect, positively influencing the world around us. With each step we took, we carried the essence of these rejuvenating spaces, spreading the healing energy to others we encountered along our journeys. As I reluctantly bid farewell to these tranquil landscapes, I carried with me a renewed sense of purpose and gratitude for the power of nature's healing. I understood that even in the midst of chaos and uncertainty, these therapeutic havens would always be there, offering sanctuary and solace. And as I continued my expedition, I knew that no matter the challenges that lay ahead, the calming and rejuvenating embrace of nature would forever be my sanctuary. Question, how does nature have the power?